Hi Virgo, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dean, and I'm going to be doing your May 2022 Angel Day reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, well, even in the deck that I'm using, it will be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This will be a short cleanse. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into the safe and loving space. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. So Virgo, we start off with the Hermit, which represents us in the Major Arcana. We have Uranus, which represents Aquarius. We then have the Five of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the King of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So we're definitely getting a gift here, which really cleanses us, which really stabilizes us and heals us. The, the Angel Day, okay, the 5th of May, the Angel Day 5-5, five, five, is our spiritual journey. It represents our spiritual journey, our independence, our freedom. It brings major change into our lives. It's highly positive, and we can see right here that it's highly positive. But it takes time. It's it's going to take time because we may not we may not feel that it is positive when we're living this change, when we're living this this time. So just be aware of that. It is a time to let go of what no longer serves us. So we're turning inward right here. And this is the essence of ourselves turning inward. This is going to be a day where we can feel overstimulated very easily. We can feel put upon very easily. We can feel, you know, just like everything's just a little bit too much. You know how when your skin's really sensitive and your sweaters don't feel right or your shirts are too tight and everything is just is just wrong? That's what it feels like on this day. So just be aware of it. Let ourselves be aware and present within our body. And as we are aware start to say, why? Why do I feel uncomfortable? Why is, why is everything kind of bothering me? What do I need to see? What am I turning away from? Because it's going to lead us to our dreams. It's going to lead us to, to something astoundingly powerful that we've, we've been waiting for. And it brings us then to this energy of why is there all this fighting? Like, why have I been fighting for so long for something that can be brought forward in peace and in beauty. But this is fighting, fighting. This isn't just like kibitzy, you know, no big deal. This is, I'm angry, I want revenge type of fighting. We need to look at this and say, what happened? Where does this come from? What does this stem from? And how do I move forward? Because we've become so used to this chaotic energy, it's just a part of our lives. It's the way that we instantly react. We're, we're on the defensive. That's what spirit is showing. And so spirit is saying here, disengage disengage from the battles because they're foolish. They're not going to get you to where you need to be. And they're wasting your energy. It moves us then to the seven of pentacles, patience. This is a time where, yeah, we want everything yesterday. Of course we do. But this is going to be a time to really practice patience. But also to know that we're a bit exhausted. Our hard work, our dedication, our determination, our focus, it's been tested. We've been tested. Now we're saying, how do I move forward? Where is it that I need to be? What's important to me? It brings us to the Six of Wands. There's something to celebrate. On this day, as we're looking at things, we need to start lifting ourselves up, celebrating ourselves, seeing what we desire, and saying, this is good. Instead of listening to other people who will tell us, no, it's not. It has to be this way or that way. No, there's beauty here. We just It just might not be overpowering or overwhelming. It could be very subtle, very quiet. Let it shine. It brings us to the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. 
God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing us a gift of love. It overflows. It cleanses us. It can bring us tears. It can make us emotional. The King of Cups says, I take this gift. I take this gift and I rule only me. I am empowered for me. And I move forward in example of how I need to live, of how I want to live, and what is beautiful within my life. And now it is time to shine. There's somebody here who loves us, who's connecting with us, who wants to see us be that success they always knew we were meant to be. All right. All right, Virgo. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony... Oh, goodness, your subconscious card. Temperance, balance, Sagittarius energy. Being balanced in this moment, knowing that it's going to be a give and take. Everything's not going to be 100% the way that we want it. But we give. We give and we take. We pour from one cup to another to another. Never spilling, always gaining, but always finding a balance, always needing that balance. We're finding balance within ourselves and especially around our hearts and around what we deeply desire because there's something here where it's like we almost weren't ready to admit what we really wanted to ourselves. We're trying to be either everything for everybody else or do what we thought we were supposed to do. And now it's time to say no, but this is where I need to be. All right, now Virgo, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power and, and beauty within our lives and within ourselves. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Virgo.